What's going on? Welcome to another video. In this one, <laughs> I don't know how to start. It's been so long since I made a video. So long, in fact, I don't even know how to apparently set my autofocus or my exposure correctly, but whatever. You know what? Let's just skip the intro. Let's just get right into it. I got a comment on one of my other videos. Christina GG, she says, awesome video. Thank you so much. I have a question. Is there a way that I could click on a button? It's inside of a box of interactive components. And when I click on it, navigate to another screen. For example, I'm on the web on the home screen, but I wanna go to the profile screen. So I pass the mouse over the button, all the stuff I established on the interactive component, but I wanna add the property that when I click, navigate to the profile screen. I don't know if I'm making myself clear. I mean, I think you are, but let's give it a shot. All right, so to make this simple, I'm gonna go to my iPhone 13 Pro frame. We'll call this one home and let's call this one profile. There we go, home and profile. And let's give this a background color and let's type home right here. I'm just gonna use good old enter. I'm gonna go black with that typeface. I'm gonna go 120 from the top, 40 from the side. I would never design a screen that says home this big, unless there was a really good reason. Uh, so just need to throw that out there. All right, this is profile. This is profile. So these are our two screens. So Christina wants to have a button inside of a box with interactive components and when she clicks on it. So she's on the web, on home screen, you wanna go to the profile screen. So I pass mouse over, so I pass the mouse over the button and happen all the stuff I establish. I'm assuming she has like some rollover components and things like that. Um, and I, I think I know where this might be going. Uh, and then she wants to navigate over here. All right, so I think I, I got this, okay? So let's just say, all right, we're gonna create a little bit of a menu here. I would also probably never say menu just big on the screen, but this is just for an example here. I'm gonna go medium, let's go like 11. I'm gonna pull up this little contrast plugin and I'm gonna go all the way down um, to where this is like double A, like 4.5. That's gonna be eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine. We'll just make it nine, 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 just for good measure. Okay, this is gonna be like our little tiny sub menu. And I'm gonna make these, that's 40. I'll make these 20 just for now. And let's just, oh, should we leave these gray? Let's say we've got a profile. Let's say we've got settings. And then let's also say we have navigation. All right, so I'm going to, we don't really need this, but I'm just gonna leave it there for now. It's kind of decorative, so I'm not actually gonna worry about the contrast. This is the menu. These are the menu items that are here. This is a decorative title. Decorative titles don't have a contrast requirement. Um, you could argue that this isn't decorative, but for this purpose, we're gonna call it decorative. And so we got profile settings, navigation. All right, so what we need to do is create a component out of this. So let's just call this like navigation and we're gonna bring it over here and we're going to create a component, command option K. We're gonna create a variant and all I'm gonna do is a simple hover effect. So I am going to try to decide what I wanna name these variants. Right now it's property one default. I know this is gonna be a hover on or off. That's as simple as we're gonna do. Um, whenever I can do a simple variant, I like to keep it simple with a true fault statement or an on off statement or a yes, no statement. Let's call this one yes and no. So this is gonna be, the default is gonna be no and the other one is gonna be yes. And we have to have some kind of change. So I'm going to make this one white, all right? So that, let's also add some uh, auto layout to these because it just helps. If we ever wanted to change the background color or something, like if we wanted to give it a fill, um, like let's just say we did that. It looks horrible, but at least if we started typing, the red background would be there. So we can always remove it if we don't if we don't want it. All right, so we've got our, our white, text. Let's remove that fill because that's not really what I wanted. So we've got our navigation and we want all of our navigation items to turn white when we mouse over them. So if I go to home and I hit play, building the prototype. All right, look, nothing's happening. Profile, settings, navigation, no clicks, no hovers, nothing. All right, that's okay. We're getting there. So I'm going to go over here to prototype mode and I am going to link this to here. That is going to be on hover while hovering, go to there to the hover version. Instead of instant, I'm gonna go to smart animate, 300 milliseconds, ease out, that's fine. 
And we're gonna bring this one here, boom. That is going to go to the other one. Um, mouse leave. When I leave my mouse, when my mouse leaves this object, I wanna go here. Smart animate, boom, done. Um, all of these are just text layers, so let's grab, oh wait, is this, is this a navigation? Is that a text layer? Okay, it's a text layer. So let's bring this actual instance over here, okay? We're just gonna throw that one in there. Um, this one can be, what, oh, no, notifications. I think that's what we said, notifications. So now, let's test this again. We can just go back here. Um, okay, that's not working, and I don't know why. All right, let's rebuild the prototype. I bet, I bet that was it, is because I didn't rebuild it. All right, now, you can see we're getting the faintest bright white rollover. So we could do something a little bit different if we wanted to even give this like a, um, let's make it a little bit more visually dramatic just for the purpose of this video so we can actually see a little bit more. So I am going to add 16 pixels auto layout goodness all the way around. I'm also gonna add auto layout to the frame itself that's holding everything um, so it stays so it stays in the right spot. Okay, so let's make this one the background color of this and then let's go like black for that one. Okay, so now this is gonna be bigger. And also if we, if we stretch this out to the entire thing, this entire background should also change as well. All right, so let's close this out in case that is what messed us up last time. We're gonna hit play again to rebuild this. And there you go, you can see a much more dramatic thing happening here, just so it's absolutely clear that that's what we did. I don't actually love this hover effect, but I'm just gonna go with it because this is not about creating cool hover effects, it's about creating a link to a profile page. So we could, theoretically, we could put one of these, um, we could put another click, we could put a, a prototype click on these items and try to link it to a screen, but I don't think you wanna do that necessarily and, and get your uh, components and your, inter your interactive components all in different, you kinda wanna keep the separation of concerns. So in this one, we're gonna call this like, navigation, hover, um, I mean, let's just call it, we'll keep it navigation, and then let's make these three a component, and we'll call this nav group. Nav group, and just for consistency, we'll just call this nav, okay. Now we're gonna go profile. Actually, let's do home, profile, and settings. You might already know where I'm gonna go with this, but we're still gonna go for it. All right, so I'm gonna, let's actually put this all, let's put this all the way against here and then let's stretch out this entire container and all of those should have stretched with it. All right, so now just for fun, we're gonna go back to our design and we're gonna add 24 to each side and then we'll put our menu and our home at 24 as well. So we have this like nice, sharp left alignment, layout connected typography on point connection here. And we'll put our menu icon right there. That's not an icon, that's text, menu text. Still don't know how I feel about that yet. Okay, so before we go any further, let's test out to see if all of these are working. Home, profile, settings, boom, boom, boom. There we go. All right, so that's working. Now we're gonna take inside of this, we could link these, but what we really wanna do is link this group. So I'm gonna go profile. Okay, so we're going to, you can see it's got these like mouse enter change to. It's already got um, like the hover effect like in there. So we're going to add this linking to here. And let's actually bring this to the top just so it like makes a little more sense. Okay, so we're just gonna go straight up um, no action. We're not gonna do any fancy thing. It's just gonna go there, okay? And this one, when you tap, is gonna go home. And just for good measure, let's go ahead and call this one settings and Let's go ahead and link settings to that page. Really, anytime you have a, you know, you wanna go somewhere, you gotta have a frame for it that you're gonna link to. All right, so we've linked all of these. So now all of our component instances are pulling from that particular component. So now I can copy and paste these and they should all be the same. Let's make our uh, settings and stuff line up. Okay, why don't we also, okay, so let me think here. Let's, all right, so I'm gonna add auto layout to this, okay? And then I wanna put this little menu thing inside of there. I still don't know if I like it, but I'm gonna throw it at the very top and I'm going to throw some shift A action on there. So it adds an auto layout. 
and then I'm gonna add 24 to that. And then I'm gonna do fill con uh, fill container, okay? And then I'll go ahead and just make the background of this the same color, just so it's easier to see. Okay, so now all of these menu little things popped in. Okay, so now I'm just gonna restretch these to make them fit. And it looks like these right here need to be set to fill container in order for these to go all the way across. Cause when I added auto layout, it shifted these from to be like naturally stretchy to now they're fixed width. But if I change this to fill container, you can see that it updated all the others. And I just hit command Y to be able to see the bounding box. That's gonna be like, um, view show outlines. So you can toggle command Y to see that. Okay, so now all of these in prototype mode, see these are linked, these are now linked, these are now linked, and these are now linked. So now theoretically, moment we've all been waiting for, is this going to work when I rebuild this, all of the hover effects work. All right, here we're gonna click profile, settings, Boom. All right, so what if we wanted to show uh, settings and profile and home, maybe like as a little icon on there or something. So we, we could go and we could make another uh, interactive like um, variant. Actually, why don't we do that? Let's go, let's go here, take that um, off because we just duplicated it. All right, so this one's gonna be, let's go in and we're gonna change this from like hover yes, no, and we'll just do, we'll do style and a drop down. So this one's gonna be default, this one's gonna be hover, and this one is going to be active, okay? So our active is gonna be white without that background. And then on each one of these, we can go in here, all right, the home, we're gonna change it to active. Profile, we're gonna change it to active. Settings, we're gonna change it to active. That way, you know, we're not done with this, we're not done with this design by any means, but at least we're getting our point across. So home, it's showing up. And you can't actually even hover over that because there's no hover effect on home. Boom, profile. So that is how you would create your rollovers and your links. Because I think what Christine must have been doing is trying to link this interactive component to one of the screens. If you were to put the click effect on the default navigation and then you hovered that wouldn't register a click anymore because you would be on this one. And then when you rolled off, there can just be a little bit of confusion uh, when you're trying to add click effects onto the prototyping, like interactive stuff. So whenever you create something like this, I would always re recommend creating a secondary version of that, uh, that, that one that handles all of the rollovers and then another one that handles all of the clicks. That way you can keep these things separate. And when you have this going, you can just build it out. Okay, I hit the wrong, <laughs> I hit the wrong thing here. Let's go to that one and hit play. Then you can go boom, profile, boom, settings. You have your hover effects and all of your clicks working great. And it's all controlled from those couple of components. Whenever I get a, a fun little like interesting challenge like this in the comments, it's kind of nice to be able to have something like this where it's like, I can make a video about that because I will end up trying to make this huge blown up video that takes me like two weeks to think about. And uh, so anyway, if you have other video questions, drop me a comment. It can be with interface design, product design, UX design, or even Figma problems that you're running into. And I will pick the very best ones and I will make a video about it. So thank you, Christine, for the comment and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, what's going on? MDS here. Now, if you're new here, Shift Nudge is the best way to learn how to design visually beautiful interfaces. From typography, layout, color, and more, I've got you covered with 85 meticulously crafted lessons, over 30 hours of video content, and over a thousand homework critique videos from student work. On top of that, there's a vibrant Slack community with past and current students posting their work, critiquing each other's designs, and sharing lots of job opportunities on a daily basis. If you haven't already, jump on the email list at shiftnudge.com to make sure you don't miss the launch. Thanks for watching and happy designing.